Hi guys. Uh, this is the warm-up video for section 1.7, and we're going to be talking about secant lines. So a tangent line, uh, as we've discussed in class, is a straight line that touches a given graph, uh, essentially at one point only. A secant line, uh, and you may have seen these in trigonometry or geometry, actually cuts a graph at two particular points. Uh, now, we're going to be talking about these because we can calculate the slope of a secant line very easily because we know two points on that line. So for the video today, uh, I'm going to work uh, one example here, which is to take a um, two points on this parabola here. And first off, let me give you the equation for this. So this is y equals x squared plus 2x. And I want to find the slope of a line that connects a couple of points here. Uh, so the points that I'm going to choose uh, just for the sake of this first example is I'll choose this point down here at the very bottom and that's at negative 1 comma f of negative 1 uh, or in this case negative 1 comma negative 1 and then the other point I'm going to choose is this one here at 1 comma 3 and uh, that I could have also written as 1 comma f of 1 uh, so if I connect those with a straight line, and if you'll forgive my lack of artistic ability, um, then let's just pretend that that actually goes through there. Uh, then I want to compute the slope of that line. So the slope of the secant is, well, since we have two points, we can just do the usual rise over run uh, problem. So in this case, my y coordinates, I ended at 3, um, and I started at negative 1. So 3 minus negative 1 would actually be plus 1. Uh, and then the run here, I went from 1, uh, negative 1 to 1. And so the slope of that line is 4 over 2, or 2. And looking at the graph, that looks roughly reasonable. It should have gone through this point right there. Uh, again, owing to my lack of art skills, uh, say la vie. Um, okay, so this was a situation where uh, I chose two points, and they were relatively far from each other on the, on the graph. But uh, once you choose two points, you can easily compute the slope of the secant. Um, and so what we'd like you to do is to do the same thing, uh, but you're going to do it for two other po uh, points. All right, so that brings us to question one, is find the slope of the secant uh, that connects the point 3 comma f of 3 and 5 comma f of 5. Uh, now, the graph that I've produced here doesn't actually have uh, show us what's going on at the point 3 comma f of 3 or 5 comma f of 5. This would be above uh, what I've, I've drawn here. Uh, but you can easily graph this uh, for a bigger range. Um, I used GeoGebra for this graph. Uh, you could also use Desmos uh, or if you know how to use it, Mathematica, uh, to, if you just want to kind of see roughly what it'll look like. Um, Okay, so that's your question number one, is find the slope between those two points. So the second question, uh, an example we want to work, is to say, what about if we picked one specific point, and for this I'm going to switch colors, so I'll do this, the second example in question in blue. So I'm going to pick this point here, uh, which happens to be at the origin, or 0, 0. Um, and then the second point I'm going to pick is not any specific number. I'm going to think of this point over here as just being some mystery distance to the right of uh, 0, f of 0. So I'm going to think of it as having its x-coordinate as being h, just some number. Uh, and then its y-coordinate would be whatever f of h is. And so then I want to find the slope of the secant, and I'll sketch that one, uh, between those two lines. Okay, so the slope of that secant is, 
So the first step is basically just to do what we did before. Now the one wrinkle is since h is a number, but we don't know its value, I can't tell you what f of h actually is as a number, but I can write down what it is as an expression. And in order to do that, we're going to come back to the fact that I told you what the formula for the function is. So here, if I want to do rise over run, what is f of h? Well, it would be h squared plus 2h. I need to subtract the original y value, which in this case was conveniently 0. And then the run, so to speak, is, well, I ended up at the x-coordinate h, and I started at the x-coordinate 0. So if we simplify this, uh, subtracting 0 doesn't change anything. That was convenient. And I'm going to just factor an h out. And in this case, then I'll switch colors. I could cancel those h's. And so the slope here is the quantity h plus 2. So um, that is a number in the sense that h is a number. We just don't know its value. So it's totally OK in this sort of situation for the answer to be an expression involving h or some other quantity. Um, in this case, it was h plus 2. OK, so that brings us to question number two, uh, which for space reasons I'll write over here to the left. So question two uh, is find the slope between our first point will be like in the first question, 3 comma f of 3. And the second point is going to be 3 plus h, comma, f of 3 plus h. So um, in this case, the think of 3 plus h as being h units to the right of x equals 3 in the same way that in the, the blue example here, my h is, or the second point is h units to the right of 0. Um, and it just so happens that 0 plus h is h, so that's why I didn't write 0 plus h. It was superfluous. Okay, so you'll do both of these questions on infinity, and that will set us up for class. We'll see you in class.